What's up guys? It's Frozen Electronics. Today is the 12th of December 2013 and today's video is about the 555 timer based Atari Punk console. Um, I built one as a gift for someone uh, for Christmas this year. Hopefully uh, they don't watch this video so that they don't know what they're getting. But um, it's a very popular circuit. Um, I've had a whole pile of 555 timers around um, since uh, oh, a few months ago. I bought 50 of them in bulk from China. Uh, there's one particular eBay seller where you can get them for about 10 cents a pop. So uh, you can get like, you know, a hundred of them for 10 bucks. Like, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, they're good to have, you know, I would suggest having, you know, 20 or 30 of them sitting around in a drawer somewhere because they always come in handy. Uh, you can use them in really interesting, innovative ways in products and designs. Uh, the um, Atari Punk console is a very cool um, implementation of the 555 timer. So let's take a closer look at it. So here's my um, finished prototype. Um, I'm going to make a few changes to it and then I'm going to put it in a case and... Um, some cool package and uh, turn it into a gift. So in this case I have one of these um, 9 volt snap battery connectors. So the whole thing runs off 9 volts, a single 9 volt battery. Um, the triple five timer can take anywhere from, um, uh, what's the range? I think 3 to 18 volts depending on which one you get. These are the um, any triple five p from Texas Instruments. Um, so they're pretty bog standard uh, jelly bean parts. So this section here is the actual Atari Punk console. Very simple circuit. Two triple fives. Uh, one in, oh boy, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna get this wrong, I'm sure. One of them is in mono stable and one of them is in A stable. If I remember correctly, this one is in A stable, so it's constantly running and it's triggering this one, which is in mono stable mode. So it's being triggered to constantly create pulses. It's almost like this one's running in A-stable mode, but you have very fine control over um, how often it gets pulsed. So by changing this one, you change the spacings between the pulses. By changing this one, you change the pitch. Uh, and it gets this kind of weird stepped tone sound that's uh, very unique to this product, or to this design. Um, very bog standard parts, as I said. Uh, you got a 1K resistor, a couple um, 0.1 microfarad um, caps. There is one 10 microfarad cap, um, 10K resistor, 4.7K resistor. Um, this is a, oh, I'm gonna forget now. 100K resistor, I think. Um, or no, 2K, 2K resistor, and that's part of the feedback network. Anyway, I'll get onto that. So this section, as I said, is the uh, Atari Punk console, and it can, you can drive an 8 ohm speaker with it um, directly, something like this. Um, you can get these from SparkFun, you can get them at all sorts of electronic stores. Uh, mine was a little messed up, and it wasn't very loud. Um, and I also wanted it to be, um, a little bit more portable. So anyway, there's a very basic, this is just an LM741 op amp uh, in a very, very basic configuration here. Uh, the 2K is the negative feedback. Um, then there's uh, a couple, uh, are they 10K or 1K resistors? I think there's two, yeah, they're 10K resistors which divides, uh, it's like a resistor ladder, very basic resistor ladder, to uh, run the op amp off of, um, to be able to run it off of nine volts with a ground, you can you just do a split supply. Anyway, uh, I'll show this schematic in a minute, but um, anyway, it, it's coupled out through this heat shrunk uh, 10 microfarad capacitor to just uh, like a, um, Eighth, um, eighth inch small uh, headphone jack essentially. So you can plug it into just about anything. I'll fire it up in a minute here so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Um, these two potentiometers I have here, these are half meg, so 500K. And they're uh, a little bit high. It's funny, the design I was working from actually recommended one meg potentiometers, but I think that, that would be way too much. Um, I've heard other people say that 50K sounds about right. I'll probably 
put them down to 100k and then you could bias them by putting a resistor in series. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, it seems to give you the best uh, tones possible. Okay, so I've got it hooked up to my uh, PC speakers here. So I just have my power supply set to 9 volts. I'm sure you can hear it right now. So let's play with these a little bit. See, I'm getting all that weird buzzing noise, like, you should be getting that when you turn it up to here, because the pulses are getting pulled apart, but when you turn this all the way down to the bottom, I sort of feel like it should sound like that. It should be one solid tone, but something's kind of quirky and not quite right. Yeah, the op amp doesn't even get warm, so everything's set up correctly. There's not too much gain. And you can get some cool sounds out of it. So that's my Atari Punk console that I've been working on. As you can hear, there's a there's a few quirks that I'm trying to iron out. I'm not exactly sure what's happening because um, I followed the circuit very closely. Um, I'm probably going to remove the uh, biasing resistor on this side. I'm also going to change the size of the potentiometers and I'm also going to add a biasing resistor on this side. Um, yeah, I'm kind of confused as to why you would want a biasing resistor here. I think that might be why I'm getting that fuzzy noise here and there. Also, it's clearly picking up interference and stuff. I mean, it's not meant to be a super high quality circuit. It's just a quick hack that you can throw together uh, and play around with. So it's got that very, uh, very unique electronic 8-bit buzzing sound to it, um, which is quite cool. So anyway, um, I'll do a video also on my Commodore synthesizer soon. I used the SID chip out of a Commodore 64 and uh, made a, a synthesizer out of it. So um, I'll hook that up soon and uh, fire it up. You can actually see it down there. It's that red box uh, underneath my bench there that I've actually put a lot of work into it. Uh, and it's coming along well. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the show.